Hello everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, this is our Ayurvedic August series. So excited. This is the second video. There is some um, blog post up on ClassyCurlers.com, but I wanted to come today and talk about um, some other herbs that we are going to be using to make our own shampoo. So these are all Ayurvedic herbs, so I'm so excited to share them with you because they are all awesome for hair growth. So today we're going to be using um, a couple of things. We're going to be using a bowl. Um, we are going to be using a funnel. We are going to need a spoon or fork or some sort, a bottle to put your shampoo in. Um, I have some oils here. Now this blend is um, Palmarosa oil, um, sweet almond oil in there, and a little bit of lavender. And then we have a blend here of some awesome herbs. So um, I got this one off Etsy. I will leave the link in the description box of where you can um, get them from. But it contains amla. Um, Retha and then Shia Kai powders all together. So these are the golden children that we're going to be using today. So today we're going to be making a quick shampoo. Very different from the shampoos that you're probably used to. But it is so, so good for your hair. So let me go through the ingredients really quickly. So Amla first up um, is also called Indian Gooseberry. It's really, really good if you have any hair fall, um, any hair thinning. We also have Retha. Retha is a good cleansing agent. It's not going to foam up like how a traditional shampoo would. A lot of traditional shampoos have... Um, SLS and so many different like chemical fillers that give it that foam agent and that's what you see when you see that foam producing but it's not really doing anything for your hair and it dries your hair out a whole lot of times um, so you're not going to see that foaming action as much with this but trust me it is cleansing your hair and it is oh it's doing it so right and there's so many good properties to it. Last but not least is Shia Kai. So Shia Kai is great for also cleansing your hair but also balancing your moisture levels. A lot of people have issues with their hair um, either falling out or some other issues. A lot of it is linked back to your hair being dry. We're going to be using about half of this and it totally depends on how much hair you have um, and how you're going to use it. So are you going to use it for a shampoo? Are you going to use it for, um, you know, for a hair mask? If you're using it for a hair mask, if you have a lot of hair, then obviously you're going to want to use more but it is totally up to you and how exactly you want to use it. It also depends on um, exactly when you plan to use it. You know, if you're not going to use it right away, you're definitely going to want to use some sort of like natural preservative. But if you're going to use it immediately like I am, once we're done, then, you know, you can use just a good amount. So here is what I've poured there. Um, I also have water. I forgot to tell you about that part. So water is a big component on all of this. So I'm going to add a little bit of water at a time. And I may add more um, coming soon, depending upon the consistency that I'm looking for. Which I want it, like, not runny, but not thick either. So... Slowly adding water here, and I'm going to mix. And I'll show you. You can see a little bit what it's looking like there. So I'm mixing. The idea is to get it into a paste at first, and then from there you can decide. Um, you know, is it too thick? Is it too thin? What do you want to add? Um, it seems like, um, especially with American culture, we are so obsessed with foam. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We are super obsessed with foam, and we want um, <laughs> we want to see the foam. We think that the bubbles means that it's actually working. Um, when that's not really it. It's, it totally depends on the ingredients that you're using. Um, that's what matters, not the foam action. The idea is to get it as smooth as possible. Now you could put this into an immersion blender and blend it up and it would be smooth in, you know, a few seconds. But since I'm not making that much and I have um, here a four ounce bottle, um, I just decided to put mine in a bowl and I thought it'd be fun to show you all it being actually mixed up. So it's getting there. It's really good. It has like a few lumps and mine is definitely there. So next I am going to add a few drops of my oil. This is completely optional. If you want to just go with this, you can do that. So I'm going to add a few drops. So here's my mixture here. The key to using a shampoo bottle with this is to make sure that you have a top with a nozzle tip. So that way you can um, put it into your, your, um, you know, container and put it directly onto your scalp and then um, cleanse your scalp that way. So that is it. That's it. <laughs> um, so what you're going to do is um, hop in the shower, 
Um, you are going to wet your hair thoroughly with warm water that's going to open up your cuticles, um, really get you know the product buildup that you have in there working so it can start moving. And then you are going to take um, a, a scoop full of this. And I, again, I wash my hair in sections, so I do two sections at a time, making sure that you're concentrating on the scalp. Now you could do, you can put it over your whole head, um, your whole hair, and your hair will be so soft and moisturized, but that just means obviously you have to use more powder. Mine was strictly made to use to wash my hair, so um, I don't have as much in here, but if I were going to use this as a mask, I can just use the whole um, powder as a whole. But it leaves your hair super soft, super shiny, um, and it's such an awesome way to clean your hair without all of those additives and things that we become, um, you know, allergic to keeps your hair very soft so i hope that this ayurvedic shampoo works out for you i would love to know how you like it i've been using it for a while and i really really enjoy it you can go to classycurlies.com to find more about this series and you can always email me at classycurlies at gmail.com all right see ya